This video will show you how to take ownership of a file or folder and get access to view and edit them. If you are refused access to a file or folder when you are trying to open or edit them in Windows, it means you don't have the right to access or edit such objects. In Windows, the user who is the owner of a file or folder will automatically gain the right to modify, access, read and edit rights for an object. This type of user will always have uh, the right to access a file or folder. When creating a file or folder, the user account which you use to enter the system is automatically assigned owner's rights. However, you may need to change the current owner rights so that they belong to you or to another user. It can be caused by deleting a user account, having several users work with one computer at the same time, or by using a hard disk from another computer. Changing the owner of inaccessible files and folders will be the best solution to such problems. To do it, right-click on the file or folder and select Properties in the menu. Go to the tab Security and click on Advanced. In the Advanced Security Settings window that opens, click on Change in the line Owner. In the next window, User or Group specifies the name of the user account in the field Enter the object name to select and click Check Names. If you gave the correct name, it should change to show the path to full username with the name of the computer before it. After that, click OK. Returning to the Advanced Security Settings window, you will see that your user account is now shown as the object owner. If this object is a folder, uh, under the Owner line you will also see an option Replace Owner on Subcontainers and, and Objects. Make sure that the box is checked and click Apply. Confirm your action in the User Account Control window by clicking Yes. OK. OK. After that, try opening the folder which refused access at first. As you can see, it is now open for the current user as this user has become its owner. All the actions that we have described work all right if they are done with the account having administrator's rights. If you need to get access to the folder from an account which has no administrator rights, changing the owner of files and folders will not give you full access. In this case, add your user to permissions of this folder. To do it, go to the properties of such folder, then to Security tab and click on Advanced. In the Advanced Security Settings window that opens, click on Add. Click on the link, select a principal, and in the field enter the object name to select, specify the name of your account and click on Check Names. After that, select the necessary options in the field Basic Permissions and click OK. Apply. OK. OK. After that, try opening the folder which refused access at first. As you can see, now it is open for the current user. That is all for now. Thanks for watching.